Okay, Chris Temple with Andoni Iraola. Um, Andoni, first of all, we know you were planning an appeal on Milos Kirkes' red card. What have you heard? Yeah, no, they have uh, answered straight away. Uh, they didn't overturn the decision and he will have the, the three games uh, normal suspension. And uh, so uh, I think he will be able only to play against uh, Chelsea last game. What, what are your feelings about that now they've looked at it again? I think uh, I, I had my hopes after watching the replays because I don't feel it's a, it's a red card, but normally uh, to overturn a decision in this kind of, at least the experience they have in Spain, it has to be very, very super clear and uh, no, it hasn't uh, happened, no. How good a place are you in going into this game on, on Sunday now, particularly here where you've just strung together that little bit of an unbeaten run? Yeah, we are in a good good place, I think, but uh, I also think the game against Brighton is very difficult. They play so well. Uh, I think they, they've been working with the same style for, for a lot of time now. Uh, and uh, we, I think we played a good game against them when we played them and we, so it wasn't enough. We couldn't beat them, so I think we have to play the same way or better and, 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 and be better in the, in the boxes. Is there, I guess, a message of being wary because they've not been in great form in these last few games and obviously had a tough game against Manchester City last night? Yeah, but uh, everyone has a tough game against Manchester City, you know, it's, uh, it's not expected, but it's, it can happen, it can happen. And, uh, I don't think it's a good reference for us. No? Probably we have to go further to find better uh, uh, references because they are a team that spends a lot of time on the ball. So you have to be ready to, to be without the ball a lot and to be not comfortable, but to be quite solid. And uh, if we are in a, at our level also, I think we will have our our uh, chances to damage them. What do you admire about what Roberto De Zerbi has brought to the Premier League? Because even last night we saw them still trying to play out from the back and it cost them a goal. That's the way they do things. Yes, but uh, they've seen the results. No? The players uh, believe 100% in what they are doing. They've uh, seen it uh, past season, also this season playing in Europe. And it's the way they do the things, they do it very well. And uh, it's, it's true that it's, it's not always working, but like everyone else. But uh, for me, they play really well, yes. They've obviously had Europe this season, which I know has given them some, some squad depth issues. What level of achievement would it be for you if you could finish above them this season? It's a little bit like uh, the game we had against, uh, against Wolves, no? We are kind of close in the standings and uh, now every game, especially the ones you play against teams that are around you, it becomes even more important. No? Uh, it's true that they still have one more game to play, but I think it's a good challenge for us no? to try to beat them, try to fight the, for the position against them. But we, we have to show it on Sunday. I think uh, it's going to be a, a, a demanding game. I think they will also change some players because they have very good players yesterday on the bench and, 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 and probably they will change a little bit the team and we have to be ready for this. You've spoken a lot about that record points tally, you're only too short from, from beating it now. That win against Wolves, has that really brought that into focus now as the, the most tangible thing you can yeah, achieve? It's, it's the, the first chance we have no, that we, we can uh, beat it on Sunday but we have to win for this no, and it's not going to be easy. We are. Uh, one point to tie it and, and we need to 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 go ahead so we'll we'll try to do it Sunday because we know that in the same way as Sunday then we we'll have Arsenal away uh, difficult games we have so we have to do it in a, one of the difficult ones yes you mentioned that Brighton will probably change some players you haven't got a, a lot of attacking options at the moment but physically how difficult will it be for your players to go Wednesday and then Sunday uh, I hope uh, we can recover well. At least we have one more day than we had against Wolves, and I think it makes a difference to have three days of against instead of two. Uh, but it's not a big, you know. We had one less against Wolves. We were better. We had one even more time against Villa. They beat us. So at the end, this is not really a very meaningful. But it's, I always prefer to have one more day and, and, and be more ready. Is there anybody who played against Wolves who's not available in new problems? I'm thinking, but I don't think it's true that uh, a couple finish with some knocks, but it's not muscle injuries, so I suppose they will be able to, to recover. But uh, yes, we are 
dealing with a couple of players that uh, finish with with some knocks. Yes. What will be the decisive factors in choosing your goalkeeper this weekend? Did Mark Travers is he hard to drop after the other night? No, I, I haven't made the decision. I don't know the starting eleven. I don't know uh, who will start and not. Uh, normally, you and players think no that the managers we have very clear the next starting eleven since we play the game and the next day you know the ones that are going to play and it in my case at least sometimes I even decide the the morning of the game or because I want to wait until I see them training and my the, the, the last feelings I have no and you mentioned after the game on Wednesday that you chose Mark because you wanted to see him in an away game you wanted to see him under pressure was there anything in Neto's performances recently that also contributed to that decision no zero zero I think Neto I, I has been very good the last games he has played. No, I think uh, United here. Uh, what was the next game we played? Uh, Villa. I think I think he was good. Uh, Luton. I, I don't think he he made the mistakes. It was because I wanted to to see Mark because he's pushing a lot in trainings. He's a, a very good keeper. And uh, that was the, the main the main decision, yeah. Wanted to ask you about Alex Scott as well, who was one of the standout performers on, on Wednesday. Have you had to be patient with him behind the scenes? Because obviously he missed pre-season, he had an injury. And are you excited for next season with him? Yes, uh, probably more than me. Uh, he has been sometimes uh, patient, no? Because it's, uh, it's expensive to play. Because I think players in, in the middle, they are playing really well. But he has helped us a lot, no? To be the, we have to remember his, his first Premier League season, no? And he has made the difference in some games. He has had two quite important injuries, and he has come back in the in the same way. And it's true that the other day he played a very very good game. But it, this is his level, and this is what we have to demand from him, because uh, I think he has he has the, the ability. And just finally for me, um, Edison now obviously is on loan at the minute. Um, at the minute, you haven't had many opportunities in games to see him in his best position. How will you make a decision on whether you want to activate the option to sign him in the summer? No, our thinking is clear with Enes, No, uh, We want to keep him for next season. I think uh, we will keep him for uh, next season if uh, everything goes, goes uh, normal. And I'm very happy with his attitude, how he has come back, how he helps the team even playing 15 minutes like the other day with 10, he has to fight against everyone. He fights, he presses, he asks for fouls, he comes back to defend. I think his attitude has been really good. For me, it's difficult to put him because I want Dom also to be on the pitch and he's performing really well, but it's, it's, it's very good for the for the team to have uh, players like Enes, no? that they are they are pushing everyone and, 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 and if everyone sleeps a little bit, I'm sure he will be ready to, to play more for sure.